Hi and welcome to yet another episode of Willis Garage. Today is going to be yet another uh, laser engraver review. And that's because Auteur again asked me if I wanted to review one of their new lasers. Last time you saw me review this laser, it's the Auteur Alfero Laser 1. It's a small, portable and powerful laser. And the laser they have sent me today is the new Ofero Laser 2. This laser has a similar layout as the Auteur Laser Master Engraver 2 Pro and Laser Master Engraver 2, but it's a bit cheaper and it's a new design, so I'm excited to try this out. Yeah, let's go to their website and check out the lasers. Auteur.net and here we can see they are promoting the new Ofero Laser 2. You can get it with the standard LU2-2 laser for $269.99 or you can get them with the upgraded LU2-4 short focus and long focus lasers for $369.99. The long focus laser also comes with an air assist nozzle kit. Before we go in and check it out, you can see here you have the Autor Laser Master 2 Pro, the Ofero Laser 1 that I reviewed last time, and you have the Autor Laser Master 2 machine. Check the link out in the description. Let's go in and check out the Ofero Laser 2. Here you get the option. You can choose what kind of plug you use if you're in the US, the European Union or in Australia. I'm going to go for the European plug. The test machine I got here got shipped with the LU2-4 short focus laser. This is a laser that is made for better engraving. So let's look at the specifications. As always we have the new motherboard and firmware. And we have the usual safety precautions, the active positioning protection, exposure duration detection and limitation, laser beam safety, 24 volt power delivery system and the power control system. For this laser you can also get the Ofero control box which is the offline controller for the laser. You can get the adjustable set height device, you can get the YRR 2.0 rotary controller and you can also get a detachable cover. The frame is made of aluminum and acrylic. Engraving area is 390 times 390 millimeters. You have three different laser modules. The engraving speed is the same as the Ofero Laser 1, 10,000 mm per minute. And it's also the same as the Auteur Laser Master 2 Pro. It can be controlled by many softwares using the GRBL system. While the Ofero Laser 1 came quite pre-assembled in the box and it's meant for everyone so they can just take it out of the box, put in the laser module they have bought with it and start using it. The Ofero Laser 2 on the other hand requires a bit more assembly and it is attended for more advanced users. With no further ado, let's unbox the Ofero Laser 2, assemble it and of course test it out. Yeah, as you can see in the manual, you have to go to this website to check out the user manual and documentation. Okay, so here we have all the parts needed for the Ofero Laser 2. I have to say that this laser is going to be much more simple to assemble than the uh, Auteur Laser Master 2 Pro. That's a good thing for people that just want to play with lasers and maybe don't have as much DIY capabilities. Okay, and here we have the uh, assembly instructions. Number one, it looks like we are going to assemble the frame itself. Okay, 
so we're using the long screws in the front and in the back and the short screws in the sides like so Number two, we are just pushing the sleds to the bottom or to the end of the aluminum extrusion. Number three, we are installing the upper part of the X-axis. <laughs> we are wiring the machine we have the ground wire the laser wire using the cable ties y1 motor wire and y2 motor wire using cable ties machine fully assembled. The only thing that's missing from this laser that both the Otter Laser Master 2 Pro and the Ofero Laser 1 had is the end stops which you can home the machine with. So the Ofero Laser 2 has no end stops or limit switches. This is usually no problem because you just place the machine where you want the homing position to be and you place what you're going to engrave in the software according to where you put it on the table. Yeah. Now I have to power the laser up for the first time, plug it in to my computer and test it out with light burn. When I open up light burn, you can see that it gets uh, information from the laser Origin China Otter, its model Otter Afero 2. I haven't done anything with the settings here yet, so I have to go into the devices and I'm going to create manually. Select the GRBL USB. The name has to be Ofero Laser 2. The engraving area was 390 times 390 millimeters. 390 times 390 millimeters. Next. And because I am missing the limit switches or the end switches, I cannot have on the auto home when the laser start up. And by selecting here, I can select where I want my home point to be. And I want it to be on the rear left. And I click finish. Ferro laser 2. Okay. 
One more thing you have to be careful with or you have to change if you're using Lightburn. If you see down in this uh, lower left corner, it says that the machine is going to start here. But I wanted it to start in the upper left corner. I have to go into the edit menu, device setting and set the origin to the upper left. I also see that the working area has changed. So I should be able to change that back to the working area of the machine. So now everything should be set up and ready to go. Let's try to engrave a logo. I have gone back into the software and changed my origin again because on the machine you have the zeros in the lower left corner so I'm going to use that as my origin. And now that I have done all the settings I need I just manually put the laser down in the corner that I have set as my origin. In Lightburn I have put the logo approximately here as you can see and now I can push the frame button either the uh, tangler or the circular frame this will move the laser to where the logo is in the software and make a circle or square in the outer edges of the thing I am going to engrave so let's push the rectangular frame button this shows me that the laser is going to burn the logo here. And when that is set, I can put my workpiece under the laser and then take out the focusing tool, which is this acrylic plate. Put the acrylic plate on top of the workpiece. Put your laser down to it, fasten the laser again. I'm trying the frame again. And just putting the workpiece approximately where it's going to engrave. Yeah, something like that. Before you start to engrave, always put on the glasses. Start. Okay, as you can see, I'm having some problems where the laser suddenly moves and shifts the axis and it also stops sometimes. This is not good. So I'm going to check if the firmware is up to date. I go into the auteur.tech slash latest firmware. If I go to Lightburn and I see the uh, specifications here, I see the OLF 186. This means I have the version 1.86. And I go down on this page, I have the Author Laser Master 2. Here we come to the Ofero series. This is the Ofero Laser 1 series. And here we have the Ofero Laser 2 series. Um, if you can see here, this version is 1.87. So I hope this will make the machine work like it should. So I'm downloading the 1.87 firmware, reading the instructions on how to install them. Okay, after extracting the document, I have it here as ESP of Ferro 2187. Now I have to put the laser in uh, firmware update mode. You do that by having it in uh, off modus. When in off modus, you push the power button five seconds. When five seconds has elapsed, you push the reset button one time. Now, as I have a Mac here, you get the Auteur laser as uh, its own drive. And now I can copy the bin file, like so. Now I should be able to power on the Auteur and check in Lightburn if I have uh, the new firmware. In Lightburn, I can type the command dollar sign rst equals sign star and here you can see it 
it's confirmed that it has the new firmware 1.87 of Aero 2. Now I'm really hoping that the machine will work as it should. I have to try it again. Oh yeah, I really think that worked. Look at it. That's very, very nice. After upgrading the firmware, it looks like it's going to go very nice. Let's try one more. Again, Orter has impressed me with their new machine. The only thing that I have to say something about in the assembly is that they should have told us that the ground wires is using the screws you are using in the start of the assembly. So we have to screw this screw out again, put on the ground and screw it in again. That's no biggie, but it would have been nice to be reminded about that in the assembly instructions. Everything else in the assembly went very easy. The wiring also was easy, quite self-explanatory. They even got these cable strip attachments for the cable for the laser. So this cable is no problem like it is on the previous models, the, like the Auteur Laser Master 2 Pro. This wire go, just goes from the end of the set axis assembly and to the laser and you have to figure something out yourself. With these cable tie attachments it's a very cheap and easy way to do it. Thumbs up. But as I said, everything else came pre-assembled. All the wheels, all the belts, everything came in the kit. All this quality and uh, niceness of assembly and everything like that makes me wonder where Auteur is putting this machine. I know they are putting it somewhere uh, above the Ofero 1, but they are putting it below the Auteur Laser Master 2 Pro. As I see it, if they would have put on a cable chain on this wire, like on the Auteur Laser Master 2 Pro, and if they would have installed the limit switches uh, so you can auto zero it, that would make this machine in my eyes equally as good as the Laser Master 2 Pro. So that has to mean that this is a good buy since this is cheaper than the Laser Master 2. But of course, you're also missing the emergency stop and the flame sensor and also the enclosure that I made a video about for the Laser Master 2 Pro that fits it perfectly and is very, very nice. I would recommend you to upgrade the laser from the standard and I also have to recommend uh, using Lightburn as a software because the installation on that is just, it, it takes literally three, four minutes and you're up and running. <laughs> I think that is it for this video. Give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>